So we're looking at uh, sigma notation here. We're going to utilize some of these formulas that we just uh, learned. And we're going to show that this left side is actually equal to the right side. So this is the, this is the sum of i plus 3 over n squared. And we want to show it's equal to n plus 7 over 2n. Of course, we want to start out by writing that down. So we had the sigma. of i equals 1 and we're going to n of i plus 3 over n squared. So since i, okay, we're starting at i equals 1, as you can see this n squared, we're going to actually uh, rewrite this Since the sin squared is not changing, I'm going to write it out. So we'll just do baby steps here. I'm going to just take it out of there. And so we have i plus 3. But then again, we can rewrite this again. Remember part of the properties of some summation. Notation, that is, I can take this 1 over n squared and just get it out of the way to write here. Right. Then we have i plus 3. Now I'm going to uh, even break this up even more to kind of show you what's going on here. We're going to be doing um, this into two parts here. n equals 1 to n. We're going to do this one plus then we break it up some more. n equals 1 to n of the constant. So if you just remember the formulas that we used, right, the formulas that we used, remember what this was equal to right here. Okay? You got to remember what this was equal to. This was equal to n times n plus 1 over 2, right? And then, of course, this one, remember, was c times n, so this is going to be plus 3 times n. And, of course, this is what well, we don't want to forget this part out here, and this was n squared. It almost looks like an n cubed there. That's supposed to be a 2. All right, now what we'll do is do some algebra and collapse this completely down. So this becomes, this piece here is n squared plus n plus, and then I'm going to take this 2, bring it up, so that becomes 6n over 2. And, of course, we have that 1 over n squared out here. And therefore, now we have, so we have n squared plus 7n over 2. We can factor out an n. Seems like we're just going in circles here, but we're not. Over 2. And remember, we've got this 1 over n squared out here in the front. So we can cancel one of these n's out. So we're just left with, we're going to be left with 1n down here in the bottom. I should just write an n here. So we end up with n plus 7 over 2n. So finally, all that stuff was equal to n plus 7 over 2n. Let's go back to the top. So we could say that this is equal to n plus 7 over 2n. So that would actually be our formula for this right here if we were plugging, uh, plugging numbers in for